Hi YouTube, I'm making this video a prophecies update on January 9th, 2011, the day after the assassination attempt on Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords, Arizona Democrat, who was shot in the head by a young man, a lunatic, in front of a Safeway supermarket while conducting a little gathering of constituents. For people living outside the country, that, that's what American politicians will do, especially Congress people. They'll uh, sit at a table and people will line up and, and talk to uh, their representative, you know. Democracy in action. And this kid took his turn and shot her. And I think uh, that this portends to things to come and has parallels with the kind of scenario I was getting at in Prophecies of Lucifer 7, where I uh, discussed the very real possibility of an assassination attempt, a bombing plot against uh, Obama. And uh, it's going to happen something like what we're seeing here. Okay, Obama, you know, Gifford's won by a very narrow margin. She's a Democrat in a predominantly Republican district, and there's a lot of, it's a border state, and she, her district is on the border with Mexico, and there's a lot of hotly disputed issues to do with illegal immigration and drug trafficking and a lot of complicated stuff like that that gets very emotional. Uh, the main bitterness was about her stand on Obama's health care plan. You know, she was for it, I guess. And there were a lot of death threats again, a lot of, against a lot of politicians about the health care thing. And uh, in this case, uh, something came of it. I don't think the person who shot uh, Giffords was necessarily... Uh, political in the sense that he votes or he's active or he identifies with this particular ideology. He's just a very general, rambling sort of nut job who's anti-government and leans right and likes his guns and that kind of thing. But likewise with Obama, you're going to see him win re-election against uh, some Tea Party candidate type if the Republicans go for a Tea Party candidate. For people living outside the country, I think you should know that the Tea Party is a, a movement co-opted by the Republicans in the wake of the Bush debacle. You know, it was the Bush practically, well, he did destroy the Republican Party. There is no Republican Party. And they're co-opting co -opting this movement that was considered pretty fringy, you know, and they're pulling them into, uh, into the election, getting people to vote, and really moving far, far to the right to keep their numbers up. And they've ended up taking over Congress as a result. Not so much because the country's gone crazy as that Obama lost his base in the midterms. He was so concerned about staying relevant with the center that he lost the people who usually turn out in midterm elections. You know, midterm elections are about electing a governor or your senator or your representative. It's not a presidential election, so there's less focus on it from ordinary people. They kind of blow it off unless they're really, you know, keyed up on an issue or a candidate or something. And Obama couldn't generate that kind of excitement for his base. And the Republicans ran a national anti-Obama campaign because there's such passion against Obama from the opposition and from the Tea Party. So uh, it was a miscalculation on his part all along. He forgot his base. He took his base for granted because he was so, uh, he enjoyed such charisma and popularity going in with the base. But he lost that. So, um, but by the same token, you've got all these people who are thinking there's going to be this big change because the Tea Party's in and they're anti government. Of course, they can't do anything. It's gridlock. The Senate's still controlled by the Democrats. Obama can have veto any uh, crackpot bill going through Congress about whatever. They're going to repeal the health care thing. It's ridiculous. It's a waste of time. It's not going to happen. So you're going to see a lot of finger pointing, a lot of blame. This mentality itself, I've talked to people like this on YouTube, it's all conspiracy. It's all scapegoating. It's all blaming the people who aren't like you, and it's all their fault. That kind of mindset. And it's, so it's going to just get much, much worse. And there's this big expectation that the Senate will go to the to the right and the White House will go to the right. And when this does not happen, there's going to be bitterness. 
And um, so once Obama is reelected or looks like he's going to get reelected, once they try to put a Tea Party candidate against him and he, he shows that person up in a debate, which he could do easily with this kind of person. You're talking about Sarah Palin types. These people are not not at all bright. They're not. It's just all reaction and knee-jerk stuff and, uh, and blame, just all blame. Um, so there's going to be a real disappointment and a real anger at his re-election or the prospect of his re-election. And you're going to see someone like this person who shot Giffords, not so much as the main player in it, but as sort of the sidekick to someone older. In fact, with the Giffords assassination attempt, they're looking for someone older who might have been with him. And uh, with the attempt on Obama's life, the, the older person will be a militia type, someone who knows bombs and, and knows what they're doing. And the, uh, the, uh, the type of thing we're seeing now that will be, you know, the, the rambling type of guy who's, you know, got a heavy metal T-shirt, thinks he's a Satanist, uh, calls himself this or that, and believes in Jesus one week and believes in nothing the next, that kind of thing. He's more the sidekick in this, you'll see, than uh, than the the main thinker in it all, the main uh, conspirator. But they're very much backyard type guys, uh, make the bomb in the barn kind of kind of a thing. It's not. Uh, it's not going to be the uh, kind of thing that conspiracy buffs like to talk about. It's not some big government thing or anything like that. It's it's grassroots, and it's what we're seeing today or what we saw yesterday. Uh, this guy shot this woman point blank, a defenseless unarmed woman point blank in the head, uh, killed six people, wounded thirteen, fourteen people. Uh, among the dead are three senior citizens and one nine-year-old girl. And everybody who isn't a Tea Party person knows that it was Tea Party rhetoric that, <laughs> that did this. Okay. They asked uh, Gifford's husband, you know, did she have any enemies? He said, yeah, the entire Tea Party. Uh, the Tea Party is in Congress. They're going to get nothing done. It's just about gridlock. It's just about making noise. It's just about being frustrated and spreading the hate. Okay. And the paranoia and the fear. These people believe, most of them believe everything's a conspiracy of the Federal Reserve and the New World Order. You try to pin them. I've talked to them on YouTube, trying to pin them down about the Federal Reserve. They don't even know what it really is. They really don't. I mean, just talk to them about how it, how it operates. They don't know. And um, then there's the New World Order. That's just a catch-all phrase. They don't know, really know what they even mean by that. You know, It's just all reaction. It's not thinking. And when it's like that, you're going to get the gun freaks out. And things are going to happen and then the militia types you know who are anticipating a new day in politics okay, and they see Obama about to win the White House or he has won the White House that's just not going to sit right with them and you're going to see what you're going to see so uh, and I'm not making some Lucifer formatted video and promoting it and trying to exploit the assassination this is an update that just goes out to my subscribers it'll be featured on my page people visiting there can uh, can check it out, but I'm not about exploiting all this. You know, Prophecy 7 is my most viewed video. It's approaching 60,000 views right now, and I could have capitalized that all day long and done the same over and over again with my videos, and I'm not that kind of a person. It's, it's serious stuff, and it's going to take time before it manifests, and when it does, I'll take no satisfaction in it one way or another. But what happened yesterday in Arizona is going to keep happening, and ultimately the target is going to be the first black president of the United States. Okay? And uh, I hope it doesn't happen. I'm a Wiccan, non-fundamentalist Wiccan. <laughs> Stress that. I get teased about that. You know, what kind of Wiccan am I? Uh, but, I mean, my, my ethic is uh, do as you will, but intentionally harm none. And my politics reflects that. And um, Wiccans do not believe in fate. So there is no fate. I'm just talking about probabilities, like some person forecasting the weather. You know, 90% chance of rain tomorrow. Same thing with uh, what I'm talking about here. And Obama doesn't necessarily have to end up dead. But this is all coming around, and it's coming 
to this country uh, soon enough. Look for 2012. I know people want me to talk about 2012. Well, this is all I have to say about it so far. Okay. Um, peace. Have a great year. Enjoy it while it lasts.